I'll show you an image here. Now this is um, a bog fish, okay? So this is a big bog fish and amongst a lot of other fish, okay? So the question is, what do you see first? Do you see the bog fish or do you see the background? Now, be honest, what did you see first when you saw this image? Now, in, in, in the scientific research, when we look at the cognitive landscape of both the, the east and the west, we see that when they did this research, of, especially of this image and other images, is the West um, almost universally said, you know, they see the bog fish first, and there's nothing wrong with that. And then when they showed it to Eastern people, they almost universally said they saw the background in relation to the foreground. So they saw the background first. Now, what this research and this data come, concludes is that the West dissect world in the ideas of categories and objects, while the East see the world in, in the sense of relationships and context. So, you know, to explain this a little bit better, we have a look at this other image. Now we look at this image, we have a cow, right? And so there's a cow and there's a chicken and there's grass. So which one would you say the cow goes with? Now, in the research that's done, a lot of people, Westerners, would say that it goes with a chicken and the Easterners would say with the grass. Now, why is that? Now, the reason why that is is because, again, animals, chicken, cow, categories. Grass, cow eats grass, relationships. This is how um, a lot of the research has come out. So, and this is also reflected into a lot of our philosophies and, and the differences in our philosophies. So especially when you look at Taoism, Chinese Taoism, Buddhism and Hinduism of India, um, there's a big emphasis on relationships and context as opposed to categories and objects. And that's also reflected into Western religions, the, the category and objects perspective. So, and we see this reflected into language actually. And I don't know how many of you have actually spent a lot of time in the East, but when we look at Eastern languages, when we look at Especially when we look at, say, if we look at the Chinese language, for example, the Chinese language is very non-linear. And when we are in a conversation with a Chinese person, it's very roundabout. So to get to this point, we go all the way out here and then we come back to the, to the point of the conversation. Now, why that is, again, it's relationships and context. Talking about everything in relation to what the point is and the context of the conversation. Whereas, in the, in the West, as we know, um, language, especially English, is very linear and very straight to the point as I am with you right now. So, you know, we see this perspective in, in the language. We see this idea of categories and objects and relationships and context reflected into it. So, you know, the big question then is, you know, how did our perception and worldview evolve differently between Eastern and Western cultures?